I'm uh, tickled to death these chestnut trees are still alive. They're still trying to make it. And even if me and you don't live to see it happen, we'll know we helped get it off the train. How about that? I remember the tree most of this, eating the chest and stuff under the tree when it fell and followed it in. And I grew up listening to chestnut stories. My dad loved the tree, as did Jimbo, and he understood what it meant to the way of life these people in the mountains had. When we lost that tree, that way of life died with the tree. There is one group of people who have the credibility and they are regarded by the rest of us as still being close to the land. And that is the Indian people, the native people. Those are the folks whose ancestors lived with these systems for thousands of years. And they were close to the land and as a people, we're all urban and suburban right now and sadly, We've lost a lot of that closeness. But we're gonna make some good things happen here. And it's largely because of folks like him. And this partnership between uh, a couple of old Baptist preachers decades ago that has persevered and made us all one family. You know, that's the big thing. Kind of emotional. There is a number of species where um, invasive insects and pathogens have been imported into this country. You know, all the tools that we're using, the breeding, the biotechnology, the genomics, it could be used as a kind of a model for these other tree species. You need to be talking not only to ecologists, but also people who are experts in insects and in soil and climate. I mean, this product is not seeking to address the root causes of, of the problem, right? The, the chestnut tree went extinct, not just because of fungal blight, but also because it was overlogged. The stark choice we face is either embrace this cutting edge science and use it wisely or bid our native forests goodbye. For the sake of our grandkids, we can't afford to do that. We're always taking from the earth and never putting anything in. And today, this gives me strength or hope to put in instead of take from.